a person can go without food for a couple of weeks. Water for a few days. Air for a few minutes. But without electricity. It's hard to say. How long can you lie without electricity? Tell us in comment section below. Electricity allows us to power the technology we use every day. A poll revealed that 50% of the public said they would not be able to survive for more than two weeks without electricity, proving our dependency on readily available power. Of those polled, a staggering 75% predicted that within two months, they would be dead. What would happen if we lost electricity for six months? Let's imagine. Well, it depends on where you live. What survival skills you have and how much you depend on electricity. On first day of blackout, your mobile data is not working and a bit of charge left on your phone. Communication towers have shut down, which means no call, not even emergencies. Internet is gone. Your phone is nothing more than an overpriced calculator now. All the machines are down due to power outage. You and everyone else standing looking at their screens for any assistance in confusion and frustration. You overhear some people talking about a crash on a busy intersection because traffic lights don't working. And the cars will soon go along with them once the gas in their tanks runs out and you cannot fill up at stations. Restaurants and cafes get closed because they need electricity too. No water to wash your hands not for bath. The toilet doesn't flush either. Yes public services like plumbing, heating, cooling go too. No TV, no PlayStation, no internet, no nothing. At night, everyone else is lightning candles, you start lightning some candles too. It's the darkest you have ever seen in the city. Without street lights, light up homes and businesses, the night sky looks breathtaking. On the next day, the perishables in your fridge have long reached the point of no return. You throw out your milk, eggs, cheese, and so on. The same goes for all the refrigerated and frozen products at grocery stores and restaurants. You cannot buy fresh food or a grocery because card readers are not going to work neither will ATM. No one with money in the bank now has access to it. Emergency generators are already running out all over the world. The most powerful models can only go for 30 hours maximum. Food production for 7.5 billion people has come to a screeching halt. After 14 days, as kitchen cabinets and pantries run dry, panic begins. All of the people living in the urban and suburban areas would run out of food in short order. Everyone needs food to survive so this creates shortage of grocery products. You decide to migrate from city but you can't fly. The airports have been closed. If only you had a little turboprop, like a Cessna Skyhawk. Your car has some gas in it but wait. Hundreds of thousands of people leave the town with you as well. You will spend the whole day in traffic on roads. After 30 days, the global economy is plummeting. Commerce, banking, trade, national and personal debt. They are just gone overnight. After 90 days, now there was no option so you start a farm and be self-sufficient. You work as a farmer like many people do in rural areas because now you must earn some food through physical labor. After 180 days, people get food from agriculture, hunting and fishing and water from deep wells and rivers. 
Without money, everyone go back to barter system. Life starts again from 80s and 90s. No matter where you are, unless you're living in an electricity-less cabin in the woods, your life depends on electrical power. But don't worry it's just an imagination. You could run out of electricity because electricity is a creation not a natural resource. We can get electricity from a number of natural resources like solar panels or wind turbines. We can also create energy from natural gas and heat.